Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be breaking down in five steps how to wholesale real estate in 2021. If you're just on the edge about getting into it, there still is money to be made. But with that said, I'll be getting into it right now because it's not gonna be around forever. And if you guys stick around until the end, I'm gonna be giving away our secret to our business in terms of in 2021, how we're finding leads that pretty much nobody else is tapping into and therefore converting into more leads therefore more profit. So with that said, I hope you guys do enjoy. Definitely drop a like and comment if you have any questions and do find value. Let's get right into it. So the biggest part of creating a wholesale business in 2021 is figuring out how to properly obtain leads for your business. And what a lead is, is anybody that's potentially interested in selling to you at a wholesale price. And what a wholesale price is essentially just below market value, below what would be selling for if it were all fixed up. So a lot of the times these are properties that are run down, um, have liens on them. There's, uh, there's most of the time some sort of motivation for the seller to sell. Therefore, they probably need the money for, for some instance, there's a hundred different reasons why. In 2021, one of the biggest things you need to be focusing on is the quality of leads that you're bringing in. And so in our business model, we're kind of approaching it, trying to find more niche lists. And with that said, we're trying to stack more of the interest. So if you guys don't know what stacking, it basically means um, there's multiple levels of motivation that the seller has to sell you that home, therefore giving you a greater chance to one, get at a lower price, and two, just overall sell that property to you as a wholesaler. So an example would be a home that has a tax delinquency on it, uh, maybe it's also vacant, and then also, let's say the home is an absentee owner out of state. So. If you came across somebody like that, chances are that there's a good chance they do want to sell the property. Now, the price that they do want to sell, odds are they're probably going to be below market value, what you see on things like the Zestimate, which aren't always accurate, but um, they kind of give you a good rough idea of what it would sell for if it were all fixed up. So niche lists are a pretty big thing here in 2021. Now, where are we finding these leads? We're still kind of going back to the basics, even in our business model. So things like PropStream, Batch Leads, you can even go driving for dollars if you guys don't know what that is. Have definitely have a bunch of videos on this channel for you guys to check out about it. And there's a couple other things. We do have kind of our data guy that we don't know where he gets the data from, but it's always worked well for us. So if you guys want that, just DM me on Instagram. I'll have uh, my Instagram link in the description. I'll kind of give you guys, hook you up with the plug. We get lists like those real niche ones, inheritance, financial distress. I don't question where he gets them from, but he gets it and it's converted a lot of leads for us. So if you want that, definitely DM me after this video is over. So the second and probably one of the most important things after you've found good quality leads is figuring out a good way to reach them and that's just picking a marketing stream. So um, I think things have changed a little bit since 2020 and 2019 in terms of how wholesale deals um, are being obtained. One thing I've started to realize in the wholesale industry is a good idea is to go where nobody is. So when people went to cold calling, the, the guys that started finding a lot of deals went to texting. Now that a lot of people are going to texting, people are going other ways. Um, so I'm kind of narrowing it down from the most saturated to the least saturated. And the most saturated, honestly, right now, what we've seen is texting. One, it's getting more regulated by a lot of these carriers, AT&T, Verizon, where you have to almost one, it sometimes is almost illegal, but two, you're on the fine line where you kind of have to give that opt-out option. If you guys have ever got a text for marketing, um, at the end of it, it'll say something like, reply stop if you'd like to discontinue the conversation. Now the next one is probably calling and sending RVMs. If you guys don't know what that, though, like an RVM is, um, you can look it up, but then, we're starting to get into things where people were used to be popular, but now it really isn't. So that's things like direct mail and pay, paid online ads. Again, what we've started to realize, we do texting, we do calling, but we're starting to integrate some of the other ones um, that we do, because we do have a decent amount of money saved up for our marketing, that we wanna start tapping into where people aren't really going. People say, go here. We like to go where nobody else is. That's just how we run our business, how I've run any business in the past. Um, so I kind of take that with a grain of salt. And so now you have the leads and now you've picked your marketing stream. Whatever way that is, you really just have to build your pipeline. So that's number three, building the pipeline. 
And in terms of where we kind of store our data and our leads and anybody that we need to follow up with, that's just Podio. So a lot of you that know wholesale, it's basically like the end all be all, kind of our go-to CRM software. So Podio.com, um, you can use the free version. I used it up until probably uh, just a few months ago where even in the paid version, we're paying like 20 or $30 a month for it. So it's pretty negligible. We can do a little bit more with it now, um, setting up some sort of automation within it. But especially if you're in the beginning stages of wholesale, um, you don't do not need to pay for it. But the biggest thing, honestly, is just following up with leads. Um, now that more and more people are in this industry, you're really gonna find your money um, hitting that person randomly at a good time. A lot of the times you don't get lucky anymore where you call them or you text them and say, yeah, I do wanna sell, here's the price. All right, let's lock it up. We still get deals like that, but a lot of our money with our acquisition reps are coming in um, from leads that we touched depending on the marketing stream, anywhere probably from like two and a half to six months prior. Um, and a lot of times those deals end up being a lot bigger in profit anyway. So there's a benefit to following up with your leads. So number four is once you're starting to get conversations with people, that's just locking up deals. And however you approach that, it's a little different from everybody. I'm not really an acquisition guy. That's what my partner deals with. Um, so I'm not here to teach you about how to lock them up necessarily. There's definitely a lot of cool guys out there that teach you strategies and sales. And at the end of the day, it just sales and marketing this industry. But when you're locking up these deals, you kind of have to find the right deals to be able to find another cash buyer to buy that. Because obviously we're buying these properties pretty low. So running comps, a lot of times how we run comps in 2021 is just looking at what other investors had bought for within the general um, probably one to five mile radius of that property and kind of um, comparing it to what we need to be at. So if we, sometimes it'll show the wholesale transaction in like prop stream, um, but a lot of times it doesn't. So we'll just see where that buyer or the LLC had bought it and we'll just kind of narrow down. Obviously it depends on the property. You need to be doing more um, checks and balances when it do does come to kind of uh, comping a property. But where we find a lot of our success is building up that buyer's list um, while you're marketing because the value in that is so let's say you're cold calling every day a lot of the times you'll probably get one to three of those as investors um, that are willing to say hey I am not selling right now but I, I would love to buy properties from you you kind of get their criteria I always ask for what they're looking for um, and then they'll give you a general idea of what other investors are buying properties at so you can kind of work backwards there that's how we found a lot of our success with our some of our most popular buyers but one thing you need to realize in 2021 i don't think a lot of people talk about it um, and i approach wholesaling a little bit different is you don't there's no standard um, formula for trying to find a property honestly if you're buying anything under market value um, to a point where if you fix it up there's still going to be enough spread where it's not even where let's say you bought it at 100 um, and there was 30,000 repairs, but the property is worth 170. If you got it at 100 or probably like 120, there's gonna be a buyer at either one of those numbers depending on your wholesale fee. There's a buyer for anything as long as it's under market value and it makes sense for an investor. People find that when I say makes sense, a lot different when you look into an investor's eyes. Um, some people like a lot of margin, some people like a little margin. There's um, people that buy at like almost close to wholesale prices. There's investors that buy um, at rehab prices, there's also investors that buy at rental opportunity prices, which can make your wholesale spreads a lot bigger if you open your eyes to it. So that's a big key I'd look into, um, especially if you're looking into wholesale in, in, in today's day and age. So you might be asking, how are some other ways we can find buyers? So that's number five is how to find a buyer. A couple different ways is again, through your marketing streams, whether that's texting, we get buyers almost every day, calling, RVMs, you'll just naturally get them as you're reaching out to people that are investors owning these properties that didn't put it in the LLC. Um, but another one is Facebook Marketplace. We're trying to stay a little bit far away from it. Um, we mainly just put our land deals out there because um, nobody really touches land and no other wholesaler is gonna steal it or anything like that. But we try never to put the actual um, address of the property on Facebook Marketplace, but just the general details of it, basically just the city um, and details about the property. And then if we, we kind of vet our buyers, we'll always get their phone number. What's your phone number? Let's talk on the phone. I'll see if they're an actual cash buyer and then I will 
um, actually send the address if they're, I can see that they're actually a prospective buyer. And the third one, and honestly where we found a few but not a ton of our buyers, is just again surveying the area and seeing where other, what other LLCs have bought. A lot of times when it just looks like a name that could be an investor but you don't really know about it. So we look for a lot of LLCs, trusts, stuff like that. Um, and that sometimes you can kind of reverse search. So that's kind of, if you guys have stuck around, that's my gem um, for this video and marketing as a wholesaler in 2021 is now, unlike last year in 2019, any years before, you these skip tracing services have the power to skip trace LLCs. So for a lot of you that were in it, but just don't know it, now you can skip trace those LLCs, LLCs you can skip trace the trust, which is where we're find, finding a lot of success, especially in the month of January when I'm filming this in 2021, because those really are untapped potential. There is a downside, obviously they are investors, but a lot of times we're finding some of the best properties that are under these trusts and LLCs are older gentlemen or ladies that just wanna get rid of a portfolio and those can turn into major, major big deals. Um, and we're starting to see them left and right come up. And so those are a lot more exciting for us anymore um, rather than just the one, two, one, two, three properties. We like to look at the five, six, seven um, property potentials because those wholesale checks is when you're getting into the six figure numbers for one deal. So keep your mind open, especially in 2021, things are uh, evolving. And with that said, as I said in the beginning of the video, you just have to do things a little bit different. Um, you don't have to, you can do what everybody else is doing, but in my recommendation, try things that nobody else is doing because they have worked in the past. The only reason they're not working now is just because nobody's talking about them, but they do work, right? So um, with that said, I hope you guys did find some value. If you have any questions about the small stuff, um, leave a comment down below. If you want that plug for the list, again, hit me on Instagram. You guys know where I'm at. Um, if you guys want to see any certain types of videos, let me know. Appreciate it. Peace out.